Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a finance reading for the rest of the year and this is going to be the mother of all finance readings to end this year right for you guys. I'm going to be using so many different cards here, so stay tuned. This is a general reading, so there's going to be messages coming from everywhere for everyone. So I guarantee there's going to be something for you. Okay, so this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, guys, guardians, answers to things just in ancient gods. Please give me clear and concise messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. What is in store for Sagittarius financially for the rest of the year? October, November, December uh, 2021. And if you happen to see this outside of that time frame, it's okay. The messages are coming to you when they are meant for you. All right. So let's see. What financial messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay. So we have the star coming out as your first card. So some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius or um, you have an Aquarius that may be involved here. A lot of hope, renewal. For some of you, I'm hearing uh, healing. If there was an issue at the job, things will work out. Okay, and then we have Knight of Swords. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually hearing here, uh, there's a lot of air energy. Okay, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius coming through here. So even though this is for Sagittarius, um, you might be taking on this energy, or like I said, there might be um, an Aquarius involved. Uh, or it could even be a Libra or a Gemini as well. Okay, so for some of you, I'm seeing um, there may have been, excuse me, an issue at work, and I'm seeing this on both ends, because this sometimes I, I see, I get the energy of like aggressive retaliation, um, moving forward quickly. So I'm, I'm getting here, like, if there was an issue at work, some of you may have just said, that's it, I'm leaving, I'm done with this, and walked out, and I see them, if, if this resonates with you, I see them you know, like quickly coming to get you, whether it's through an email, a text, a phone call, or like literally walking towards you like, hey, no way, don't leave. Let's resolve this, you know, but I see them taking quick action towards you to resolve this situation. Um, for others, they may be taking negative action against you if you did something, um, bad for the company i'm hearing environment or something like that like like if you quit but there's a way that you did it so it's uh, you know to embarrass them or something like that um then they may try to take legal action towards you um so that's what i'm seeing for some of you there other than that i'm seeing um lots of hope and renewal um and fast action coming towards you this depends on what it is that you're looking for and what your situation is okay so like i said this is a general reading so you have to apply it how it makes sense in your world if that's not resonating with you well stay tuned and let's see what the other cards have to say okay so what are the messages do we have for sagittarius regarding their finances what advice and guidance do you have for sagittarius for october november december okay music this is very broad with music. It could be you're being told to play music, listen to music. If you work in the industry of music or wanted to work in the music industry, they're telling you to pursue that. However music makes sense to you, pursue that. That needs to be a big factor and involved here. Okay. All right. Let's see. This could even be listening to mantras if you need to have some of that healing in order to make things come quicker towards you. Um, some of you might be feeling like you have some blockages, so you're being told, listen to some mantras so that this way you can remove the blockages and quickly have this renewal come towards you. Okay, so what other messages do we have for Sagittarius? All right, so we have a lot of love coming up here. Okay, you are liked and loved. Oh, there was one hiding here. Okay, and then we have, oh yeah, the tower and the sun. I have to look this up. I haven't used these cards in a while. So hang on. I, of course, we know the sun. This is like the same in tarot. Everything is beautiful, wonderful, sunny, shiny, happy in your world. So you have lots of love, peace, happiness. And I know that this is a good card as well. It's not like the tower in, um, in the tarot deck. 
This says a powerful card, long life or something from the past, someone older. Okay, so let me just go to that page to give you more details on this card. Okay, represents protection from a hidden power or something that is destined. Okay, in a simple reading, it means someone or something older or from the past. Okay, it is also a good card that bestows a good long life on the person it is next to. All right, well, I didn't do the long spread for this, so it's fine. Um, now, interesting, it says next to the star, hopes will come to flower after deeds well executed by the person being read for. Now, interesting enough, I'm looking at this card, you have the star here. Okay, so the star did come out. So things are being bestowed uh, upon you. You are being blessed here. This could be something from the past that's coming towards you. Like I said, if this is a job you may have walked out on or left or things were bad, they're going to come looking for you. Okay, but in a good way because they really love working with you. They respect you and they, they want to bring you back in because they were very happy with you. So whatever reason, you know, it could even be, you know, something to to modernize this reading. If you were like, you know what, um, I like my freedom. I don't want to be pressured into doing something I don't want to do. I love the job, but, you know, I, I have to defend my rights. And it, it's about freedom, period. That's it. Not to force people. And that could be a reason why you decided to walk away. And they're like, but we don't want to lose you. You're an excellent employee, you know. So what can we do to make this better? Let's let's rethink this because, you know, more and more people are leaving their jobs for this exact reason. And that's why... Everything is in shambles because freedom is not being respected anymore. And I know this is going to touch a lot of people and they're not going to like it. But you know what? I stand for freedom and I'm not going to shy away from that. So it's not about this or that. It's about freedom, period. So I feel for some of you that's actually coming through as a very strong message. You're loved and respected. It just, you know, you're, you're doing what you need to do. Okay. All right. So let's see what else here. All right, so I'm gonna go to my initials, traits, and features oracle deck, and I'm just gonna use the initials and let's see what letters come out for you. So this can let you know letters pertaining to a job, someone at the job, um, the location of the job, describing it in any way, or what it is that you need to do financially. Okay, so let's see Sagittarius. All right, so you got some letters that came through here. So we have the letter F. I'm not going to, unless something compels me to do so, I'm not going to really give any um, ideas of what these letters can stand for because this is a general reading. So with the letter F, <laughs> we have the letter U, okay, Z, and H. So however those letters may resonate with you. Okay, so let's see, Sagittarius, what other messages do we have for you? What other guidance and messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding your finances, their career, their money, investments, whatever it is that you're looking to get answers for? Okay, morning affirmations. Now, that's what I said here with music before, remember? You might be uh, being directed to be doing some of this manifestation work in order to make things come to you quicker, all right? So... Morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. I, I just said this. So thank you guys so much for bringing this through in another deck, in another card. You're being helped. See, I had mentioned that also here with this tower. You're being watched over. Okay, this is destined. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what other messages do we have for Sagittarius regarding their career, finances, and money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, yoga. See, for, for a lot of you, this meditation and yoga and spiritual work that needs to be done. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising, okay? Maybe some of you just need to um, get back into shape, get back into the habit of exercising because that's when you start getting your best ideas or you start feeling good about yourself. You're feeling more motivated, okay? 
All right, let's see. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, I'm going to shuffle this one more time. Okay, this one you actually had quite a few come out. Okay, now these cards, let's see. Okay, so you've got four here. So we have self-heal. Ripple outward. Okay, so don't hold anything in. You need to heal. You are sacred. Tulsi. Release rigidity. Valerian. And create space. Raspberry. So there's some herbs and um, fruits and stuff like that that comes through with these cards. Uh, feel free to look them up to see um, spiritual benefits or just health benefits. You might be directed for those of you here that it says, you know, exercising and stuff like that. Maybe eating more raspberries will help you that connects you in some way. We have valerian here if you need to put that in your tea or something like that. Okay, so feel free to look these up for further messages. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to just, because these, these are very thick, so I'm going to take... Okay, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? And then the bottom card was, where am I with my healthy goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? Okay, questions that you need to ask yourself. Which makes sense since the exercise card came out. We have some herbs and fruits coming through here okay so what else does Sagittarius need to know regarding their career and finances so for some of you I feel like you might be in a rut and once you take care of yourself you'll feel more confident and energized and then that will um, remove the blockages and help you go raging forward okay thank you thank you thank you all right we have here mosaic let chance play its creative role in your life, okay? Which makes perfect sense because where was that here? And something else just, you are sacred now. Something just came out here. You're being helped. So yeah, you're being helped. That came out here. So mosaic, let chance play its creative role in your life. So just go with the flow. Keep in mind that you are being watched over. You are protected. So just go with the flow. Just let it happen in your favor in a positive way, okay? All right, so let's see. What other cards do we have here? What other messages for Sagittarius? Regarding career, finance. Okay. All right, so you have the throat chakra coming out. You need to communicate more, which um, we have here. Where did it come out? Ripple outward. Don't hold anything in. So you may have some communication issues for some of you. You need to communicate better. You might be harboring things, holding things in, and then when you let it out, it may not be coming out right because you're harboring things. So when it comes out and you finally release it, it's very harsh. It's very nasty. It comes across as misunderstood. So don't hold anything in. Let it out properly as you go along okay you need to work on your throat chakra here we have self-expression vocalization individuality inner voice and assertiveness okay okay now we have the archangel animal oracle deck what messages do we have for sagittarius regarding career and finance and money. Thank you so much. Okay, ants. Cooperate for the highest good of the community. Archangel Premenelec. So look up that archangel. Look up ant. Okay, cooperate for the highest good of the community. Maybe some of you are not being so much of a team player and you need to learn to cooperate a little bit more. Um, express yourself, yes, nobody is saying to harbor anything. Express yourself, but you have to have clear communication. Make sure you think before you say something because, you know, I, I know a lot of people that there's so much that they want to say, but then when it comes out, it's like it was from the brain to the mouth. It was lost in translation. Something didn't come out right. 
um, and then it's expressed incorrectly. Okay, so you have to just try and like just wait, think about what you want to say, and then say it. Okay, and and it's not it's it's gonna take some time because now you're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Retraining your brain, you know, learning a new way within yourself and it normally takes like 21 days to learn a new habit um so that's basically what you're doing you're teaching yourself a new habit of being to improve your life and you know the people that you're dealing with because now this is a communication thing okay but it can definitely be done okay let's see what other messages do we have for sagittarius now if you're looking for any kind of timing I do have my timing stones. Those are for sale for $15. And then my um, initials, traits, and features oracle deck, which I used here earlier. And then I have the traits and features as well there. It's all one deck. I just separated into two so it's easier to focus on the letters with one question and then traits and features with another. Uh, but you can keep it combined if you like. You, it's an option. Those are $25. Zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. You can feel free to go and purchase them there. Okay, so um, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So look to see when full moon in Gemini is. It may also be, uh, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. Like I said here, I'm seeing a lot of air energy. Uh, or it could just be the next full moon phase from when you see this. Okay, but the bottom line message is the answers you need are coming. Okay. And then bring love into the situation, which you see, this came out before. New moon in Aquarius. What did I say here with Aquarius? All right. My readings are always connected. My guides are no joke. They do not lie. <laughs> we are one, the whole gang of us. Okay, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So look to see when new moon in Aries is. You might be dealing with an Aries or it could just be the next new moon phase or simply the message, it's time to take action. Okay, it's time to take care of you so that this way you can move forward confidently and happily. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have? Love and communication I'm hearing also here. Bring love into the situation. I feel that for uh, some of you, when you communicate, you have a nasty tone and you may not even realize it, you know, um, and, and you need to bring love into the situation more. You need to be kinder when you're responding to someone, when you're talking to someone. Don't have an attitude. Don't have an, a nasty tone because, you know, it's all about like body language and then listening to someone when they speak. And so if, you, if you're doing like, you know, this and then you're coming out with the tone and you got an attitude, then when somebody looks at you like, hey, what's your problem? You can't, oh, I don't have a problem. What's your problem? No, you just, you just spoke with a tone and a tude and you got the whole, you know, hand gestures going here. So no, it's not me. Oh, slow your roll. I don't think so. And this is where the self-expression and the miscommunication comes through. So you may not realize you're doing that. So you really need to be more mindful of your mannerisms and your speech. Okay. None of us are perfect. This is not an attack. We all have our own things we need to work on. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you got a lot from this deck. All right. All right. Anybody have a yes or no question? If not, ask it now because I have an answer. Yep. I got an answer. All right. So ready? Ask your yes or no question. Focus on the card. Okay, you ready? Yes or no? Your answer is yes. Okay. Okay, so what other messages do we have for you? Okay, so within the next few months, again, if somebody was looking for something with timing as to when, within the next few months, there's an opportunity. Definitely an opportunity here. For some of you, yes, there's an opportunity within the next few months. Look for a sign. Okay, we have romance. There might be some romance involved here. You might have a bonus of love and money coming through. Or someone that uh, you're having a romance with might be um, hooking you up with work or something like that, putting in a good word. Or you might be starting a business with someone you're in a relationship with. Now, this could be a lover. This could be a family member. This could be a friend, okay? If you believe, again, work on your self-healing, build up that confidence. If you believe that you can do it and you can have it, then you can. 
there needs to be some compromise here for some of you. Okay, and with that compromise, you will get a peaceful resolution. Okay, I love these cards too. All right, so let's see here. Your message is change tracks. All right, so for some of you, you need to change tracks and take the lead. Love yourself and go for your dreams. Okay. Okay, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Regarding their money, career, and finance for 2021 or whenever my lovely sees this video. Okay, we got some cards that came through here. Okay, flow, trust, and limitless. So basically, trust in the universe, go with the flow, and your opportunities and abundance will be limitless. Okay, those are your messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much, my darlings, for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm doing a giveaway here. Um, I have that info in the video right before this, and then I have some products for sale um, you can check it out on zenwithinme.com and my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. I have a video after this that you can check out if you'd like more details. Peace and love, stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Zen Within Me, and thank you for tuning in to see about the closeout products. Okay, so I have here my bath salts. The spell work is already Put into the bath salts okay so these are not just bath salts with essential oils the spell work has already gone into every single one of these packages of bath salts okay that's why the price is a little bit higher than like regular bath salts but um, I'm putting in my energy into other um, facets of my business other creative outlets so for now I'm going to close out the bath salts and the fragrances so I want to give you guys an opportunity to purchase them before the holidays come and everything just gets bonkers crazy so um, I've deeply discounted the fragrances already um, from $30 to $15 each so these are already 50% off okay uh, the price on the website already reflects the discount um, the bath salts now Nefertiti is eight ounces give or take a little Enchanted, this is the money bath salts. This is a seven and a quarter ounce, give or take. Goddess Love and Attraction, seven and a quarter ounce, give or take. And then my Zeus Protection bath salts, seven and a quarter ounces, give or take. Okay. Um, I try to keep everything as close to seven and a quarter. If anything, I'll go over a little bit. Um, but yeah, the details of the products are on the website, zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. So you can read about it there. But just to give you a basic, like I said, the spell work has already gone into both the fragrance and the bath salt. So this is one of those lovely items that it's hidden in plain sight. You could just tell somebody, oh, it's just a perfume, you know, but there's meaning behind it. Okay, so Nefertiti, this is for beauty, Okay. And such read the details in the description please okay enchanted this is my money bath salts and money fragrance okay so everything has been made during a specific time frame on a specific day with specific ingredients and then the spell work was put into it in the meantime or at the same time I should say while creating the products okay so more stuff hidden in plain sight that's really gonna help you boost your money especially when you combine the two. So this is a great gift for yourself if you just, you know, are looking to make some more money. And uh, if you want to give it as a gift, you can do that as well. Okay, then we have here Goddess, which can you see on this side? No, not really. So let me show you here. Okay, Goddess bath salts. And this has some rose petals and other herbs and stuff in there. Same thing. Spell work is already done. Goddess fragrance spell work is already done. This is for love and attraction. Um, I also want to add, now I know a lot of people, they don't want to take baths. They don't like sitting in the tub and stuff like that. You can turn these bath salts into spiritual water. Okay, so th these don't have to be strictly for 
a sit in the tub bath. You can actually take a portion of this, of these bath salts, and just dissolve it in water. And then you can just pour it on yourself in the shower as needed, okay? And then you can really make it stretch that way if you want to use it that way instead. So it doesn't have to just be for a bath. You can dissolve a portion of it and use it as a rinse when you're in the shower, okay? And then spray yourself with a perfume, you know, love and attraction if you're trying to bring a, a person to you or just love in general or if it's self-love, you know. If you just want to feel beautiful, you want to appear more beautiful, then use Nefertiti, okay? And then if you feel that you strictly need some protection, then I say go with Zeus's protection bath salts. Again, same thing. You can do an actual sit in the tub bath with this, or you can dissolve some of it a little at a time and just, you know, pour it on yourself in the shower. Now, if you're going to do these as a spiritual rinse, I suggest that you do a cleansing in the shower, okay? And then use the rinse and pour it over yourself and then get out of the shower and towel dry. So don't do it in the beginning and then you wash yourself. Make sure you've cleansed your body first, you've washed your body first, and then use the spiritual bath afterwards, okay? So you just pour it on yourself, say your thank you, thank you, thank yous, get out of the shower, dry off, and you're good to go, okay? And same thing, use the fragrances whenever you want. Spell work is already done, so all you have to do is put it in your hands, you know, and put your intention into it for whatever it is, depending on whatever it is that you purchased. And that's how you use it. It's that simple. So the spell work is already done. You just hold on to it, put your intention into it and use as you wish. So bath salts or spiritual uh, rinses, and then you can enhance the work with the fragrances. Great for you. Great as gifts. The holidays are coming. Everybody is starting to make their purchases now. So, um, so yes, so the fragrances are already on the website at the 50% off, which is $15 each. Um, like I said, these were 20. If you purchase them individually, then I have them at $15 each. So you got an extra $5 off for the bath salts. Um, I may also add as a bundle pack in case you know you want to get uh, two purchases. I also have a um, coupon on the Zen Within Me dot com website and I believe I have it on Etsy too where you can just put 10 off so if you want to do that you can purchase the bundle pack and then use coupon 10 off at checkout and you'll get 10% off as well so this way then if you're doing it that way then it would be 15 and 15 it's 30 with the 10 off to save more money okay so go check it out, zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. All the links are down below in the description box. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe. And thank you for supporting my business. Take care.